Hello and welcome back. All right, so if there are too many questions on this test, you might want to put uh, next and previous buttons. You can do that using uh, the pagination that we've already seen how that works. Now, the thing is, uh, it's a good idea to show the student how much of the test they've already um, taken, how many of the questions they've answered, because if you have multiple pages, it can be quite hard to know how much you have answered and they may end up missing some questions. So it would be nice to have a bar up here that says the percentage of questions answered. So first of all, we need to know the total number of questions, right, in order to get uh, a valid answer. Okay. So all we need is an output of a percentage so that we can use that to create a div here. So let's go to our text here. Let's say tech test tab. What is this? Test tech test tab view and total questions, total questions. Yes. Let's come back here. So this is this part right here. So I want to put a bar right at the top here. So we're in the right place. This is our nav bar. Uh -huh. So let's try and put something right above this. So I'm just going to put a div. Now you can use a progress bar from uh, a bootstrap, but uh, yeah, let me just use my here. So what I want to do is this is a div. Uh, I'm just going to add container fluid as the class and then inside here I want to add another div that will show the progress so class uh, background primary so that it's blue and then let's try width of 50% now I want a height let's try um, let me put style. I don't know the heights for bootstrap, but let's say height, uh, I don't know, five pixels. Let's check that out and see how many, how much adjustments we can make. Okay, clearly um, this isn't a value. Pixels. Uh -huh. So as you can see, there's a progress bar here looking good showing us the percentage and also i can say uh, text center here text center because i want to add another div and uh, in here i want to say 50 percent like so so back here let's see that okay so it says 50 percent answered like this Mm-hmm. So 50% answered. And uh, yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. So what I want is to be able to show this on every refresh. Okay. So now I want actual percentages and actual values. So what we can do is create a function to handle this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now remember that we have one of these that has get answer. Now, all we need to do is make another function. So let's do public function. Um, what I will say is get percentage. Uh, let's try something more descriptive. Get answered percentage. I'm not sure what you can do, uh, how you can call it yourself. Just use a name that will be easier for you to remember what this is about. Okay, so get answered percentage. And what we need to provide is the, um, let's see here. We need to provide these two things, the saved answers and also, um, what is this? We need the questions themselves so questions so we have the questions and the saved answers pretty neat 
Now, we just need to know if there's an answer that exists. But first, let's do this. Let's say if not empty, uh -huh. uh, questions, right? Then let's do something. Oops, why do I keep using these guys? Okay, now let's return a number, zero. Just in case we uh, don't find anything, we'll return zero. And then here, let me, um, let's just say total answers. Total answer count. This one will be zero as well. So if this is not empty, this is all good. Let's loop through all our questions, yes? And then once we loop through each of these, we can check to see if it has an answer. So this one is looping through questions as, uh, I don't even know how questions works. So let me just show right here. I want to see what is contained in questions. So let's refresh. Okay, so every question has, it's an object and there's a question. What I'm really interested in is not none of this. I'm just, I just want the question ID, that's it. So the question ID, where is the question ID? This is a question, right? What is the process by which, okay, so this is a question. So the ID is important here. So let's remove that, no worries. And so in here, um, let's do quest like that, short for question. And then what I would do is I want to use this function here. So copy this and put it here and just say uh, answer is equal to get answer like this. And I will use this because of course, we are talking about a function that is inside here. So this get answer. Now we need to replace these things. Now saved answers is already here, so that's all good. But then there's the ID we need. So let's use quest instead and put that in the ID. So we have our question ID we have saved answers, which will give us a return of an answer. Now, I need to know if this answer is not empty, okay? So if, let's just say, if trim, let's make sure it's not empty, is not empty like this, or is equal to empty, or let's put is not empty, because when it's empty, we don't care. So if it's not empty, then total answer count should be added by one. So plus plus like this. At the end of the day, we will know how many of these answers are not empty for each question. Okay. And uh, yeah, once we know, uh, then we can know how many of those were answered. So here I'm just going to say total answer count get answer percentage. So this one really expects a percentage. So the total number of questions here is going to be the count of questions, right? So let's come down here and say, uh, if total answer count is greater than zero, then we have something to calculate. If it's not, then we just know it's zero we'll let it return a zero instead, like this. So if total answer count is great, then we're in business. So we'll say total questions. Did I use this already? Okay. Did I use it in here? No, okay, that's so good. So total questions here will be equal to the count of questions. Okay, so count will count all items in an array and give you the result of that count. So that will be the total number of questions. 
and then this is the number that we have answered right so all we need to do is normalize this so we can do that by dividing a um so let's return a percentage here we are good enough to return something so total answer count now we should always put the smaller number at the top i think if i'm not mistaken so total questions is always bigger the answer you can't have the answers more than the questions so obviously um, the smaller one will be a bottom the bigger one there and then let's multiply this result by 100. so i'll put this in brackets so that it knows to calculate this first that should be our percentage right there okay so let's see that in action shall we so I'll say get answer percentage copy this let's go in here and let's try it over there at the very top and i'll just say echo get percentage and close that though i need to uh, specify this because we're inside the class anyway and we do know there are questions and we do know there are saved answers so this should work so i'm going to refresh and you see they said 37.5 which i think uh, makes sense so let's use that instead um right here uh wait a second wait a second i want to use number format here so this one i'm just going to say uh, percentage be equal to so cut this let me remove this the only problem is uh, i want this after i check if questions is set but wait a minute maybe that's not an issue because i do check if it's empty or not okay so that's all good it can stay right here without problems so copy that and i want to put it here and also i want to put it right here wait let me remove that because i can't really control that but i can put a width instead and echo out the result and put a percentage like this cool so with whatever percentage percent that should work so let's refresh okay so we get that 37.5 but let's remove this let's see if the percentage will drop what did i remove there just cut that and let's save okay so you see now we're 25 percent that's cool let's answer this one and this one and that one let's see how much further we go okay 62.5 percent answered so you can see here at least it shows the user how much they have answered already let me put a class here and say text warning uh, or text danger maybe that will make it stand out like this okay cool so at least now we know how much of the answers the student has added with this let's try and see if we can get to 100 percent before we give up on this save and there we go 100 percent answered very good okay so i'll see you in the next video where we do something else